prep the bottom. So this is a tent lamination that we're doing here. So what Jack has done is taped off the board. He has his masking paper. Now he's running a tongue depressor along the tape line to make sure that it's pushed down securely to the board so none of the resin or colorant will seep under. And he's using six ounce cloth for this. On this one, you don't really have to cut super accurately because you're wrapping it around to the paper and then you're gonna do a cut lap anyways. So he's just trimming the cloth a bit, making sure he has enough to overhang and go past that tape line. Once again, he does his nose and tail cut. Just one cut down the middle and then rounds off the corners. Laminating. So he's gonna mix up his uh, tint color, which is kind of like an amber tint. It's a custom color using the fiberglass Hawaii colorants. And he pours his resin on towards the far edge of the board and works it back towards himself. Jack is very efficient. You'll notice there's not much resin falling off of the board at this point, or that's not being used for that matter. He's using pretty much every little bit of resin, making sure it's fully saturating, getting through the fabric, onto the foam, getting a nice consistent color. Next, he flips up his overlap onto the bottom of the board. As you can see, when he flips up, you can see that the resin's actually on the foam. He's gonna go ahead and saturate that lap using his hand. This technique is really depends on how gentle you are because you could really mess up your fiberglass if you're slapping the resin on and pulling it too hard either way. You could pull out fibers, you could misalign the cloth, you could warp it so when you drop it back down you have a kind of a strange lane cloth line. Time to peel it back. This also requires a professional's touch as well. You can see he works quickly, but he's very gentle with the fabric, making sure not to pull it too hard one way or the other. Once the cloth's back down, he goes ahead and grabs his squeegee again and starts to work the resin from the deck out towards the rail of the side that he's on. And he's gonna start to pull the, the rail under, wrap it under the board. Takes care of any little strings that are hanging off. And just goes ahead and wraps that rail right to the board very quickly and efficiently. Working that resin off the rail, you can see it dripping down the lap line. That is a fully saturated lap. It's ready to be wrapped. When you have it fully saturated like that, with enough resin, you know you're going to get a nice consistent color. No blotchiness, no streaking, nothing. It's just going to look great. There you go. Rails are wrapped, bottoms laminated. Time to do the deck. Cutting the lap. 
So we flipped the board over, now we're on the deck side. And the board's not fully cured, but it's cured to the point where we can cut the lap now. Jack just goes ahead and freehands it, doesn't pull the tape up or anything. He's been doing this for so many years, he's got one of the steadiest hands in the business. After it's cut, he pulls the tape and the paper up and you can see that beautiful contrast between the white foam and that, that amber colored tint. Very nice cut line. Prep the deck. So Jack's taped off the bottom of the board now because we're going to wrap the deck around to the bottom. So same thing, a tape line and then tape with that green masking paper. Now he's going to go ahead and pull one layer of fabric. He's going to cut this to just about the crown of the deck. And it's only going about three quarters up the board. Does it cut down the center? This is going to be a, a three-quarter inlay that he's cutting. This will add extra strength and give it a really nice look when the tint saturates the multiple layers of fabric. Pulls another full layer. This one's going to be just about to the bottom edge of the, of the rail. As you can see he's running the blade right along the bottom of the board. This gives him a nice straight cut line, he can move quickly through it. Now this last layer he's pulling is also a full length. And this one's going to be one that's going to wrap to the bottom of the board so you need to make sure you have enough fabric to wrap past that tape line that he has on the bottom. laminating. So he's mixing up his color again, the amber tint, which is a custom mixture of his. He's going to go ahead and paste on the logo. Once again, pour a nice long bead of resin and work it from the far rail to the near rail. So keep in mind he has, he has just about three layers of fiberglass to saturate. The first layer is that three quarter patch, second layer is a full one, and the top layer is also a full one. So that's a lot of six ounce to laminate, but he has this process down and he just works right through it. goes and he flips up the, the lap. You'll notice that that second full layer lap is still hanging down. He's just gonna flip up the full lap that's gonna wrap all the way to the paper on the bottom. Once again, dips his hand in the bucket and gets to saturating that rail lap. It's 
working the resin from the center of the board back out towards the near rail. And he's wrapping that very quickly. There's no wasted movements here. Everything has its purpose. Cutting the lap. So a little wax paper on the tape so we don't leave any adhesive. And Jack goes ahead and he starts his freehand cut. And he's gonna run a popsicle stick underneath to lift up the tape line a bit. So he just sticks it right under there and it's going to lift up the tape from the bottom of the board and give him a nice visual where to cut. As you can see he just follows that line and just zips it right off. There it is, ready for hot coke.